Stan Gibalisco here. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about a topic covered in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Uh, I believe this uh, topic is covered in all editions of the book, although right now I have the fifth edition, that's edition number five, before me. Copyright McGraw-Hill 2011. Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, fifth edition. This is chapter 25 where we're talking about wireless transmitters and receivers and modulation and demodulation methods. Uh, I would uh, like here to explain a, a technique for detecting frequency modulated signals. Frequency modulation. Also known as FM. This will also work, by the way, this technique with phase modulation. Now, now don't get phase modulation confused with pulse modulation. They can both be abbreviated PM, but phase modulation is in fact a way to ob an indirect way to obtain frequency modulation in a lot of applications um, and there are also um, applications where phase modulation is used in its own right probably the most significant of those is phase shift keying or PSK I don't know if that topic is covered in um, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics 5th edition or any previous edition. Um, it may be covered in future editions if there's room. You know, it's a matter of how much can you talk about in a printed book without causing a cost overrun. But in any case, this is a method of demodulating an FM signal when you don't have a conventional FM detector. Now the the most popular type or the most common type of FM detector designed a sp a specifically for that purpose is called a ratio detector and uh, that uh, is also explained in chapter 25 uh, in um, figure 25-14C on page 455 of the book there's an actual schematic diagram of a ratio detector but suppose you have a receiver that's designed only for receiving AM signals not FM so what you have is a passband filter in your AM radio that might have a response that looks something like this the carrier frequency for the AM signal is at this zero and the sidebands extend several kilohertz above and below that frequency. In the case of a standard AM broadcast receiver it the curve might look something like this. If you want to get a little better sound quality for your music you might widen it out to plus or minus 10 kilohertz. This is R roughly plus or minus 5 kilohertz where the curve pretty much settles down to zero relative output that's the output the audio output or the output from the band pass filter this is a characteristic band pass response and a pretty good one too it's got fairly steep skirts here that's what they call these skirts the edges so the most sensitivity is in this zone right here there's the least sensitivity is outside and it varies inter intermediate values of sensitivity on either slope or skirt of this curve now suppose that you want to demodulate a frequency modulated signal using an AM receiver. You can tune the carrier of the FM signal somewhere near the middle of either one of these skirts and then as the signal, the FM signal deviates from one side of that dashed line representing the FM carrier frequency to the other side, you get varying sensitivity 
But as you can see, it is a nonlinear response, a decidedly nonlinear response. If you wanted good sound quality, you would want that response to go in a straight line like that so that as the deviation went in and out you would get a smooth and and uh, very undistorted audio output but as things work out with slope detection it is a real compromise way to receive either a frequency or phase modulated signal because of this non-linearity in the response you have a non nonlinear response so if you want to listen to music oh forget it you know unless you want to create some weird space alien type of music that sounds just really goofy or really exotic depending I suppose on your mood at the time you may be able to make some sense out of a clear strong human voice signal so this particular technique here is sometimes used by ham radio operators when they're kind of uh, when they're trying to use an AM receiver uh, to receive FM signals otherwise known as a hack or a mod uh, that scheme will work it is known as slope detection you might also call it skirt detection but that maybe we don't want to go there slope detection um, I mean, you know, some of these terms, though, I remember it's really interesting. I used to do technical manuals um, uh, w uh, for uh, technical equipment, you know, telephone switches and things like that. And I remember uh, what happens when you translate from one language into another. And I also remember working for a corporation that imported two meter ham radio equipment, two meters, meaning the 144 megahertz band. And they... Um, they were talking about um, a radio with a detachable head. Uh, the head being the control part and the radio, the power transmitter and everything, the power amplifier being another part and they would connect with a cable for mobile operation and they said that you might also want to um, make contacts in bed by detaching the head. Doesn't that just sound horrible? But that's the w that is the w literal translation that came out, and the English version of the Japanese instruction manual actually said that. And I thought, you know, customers who buy this radio at least are going to get their money's worth worth a good laughs. Anyway, this is called slope detection, and, and even that's kind of a misnomer because you're not detecting the slope. You're using the slope to detect a signal this, that this uh, type of receiver really is not designed to detect. But sometimes you can use a receiver, you can use it as a hack. You can uh, detect AM with a single sideband radio, for example, just by making sure you zero the carrier in there so it uh, you can actually detect um, AM signals pretty well that way. But you can't go the other way. You cannot detect a single sideband signal with a plain AM receiver. You need a, <clears throat> a beat frequency oscillator. Remember those? <clears throat> beat. Beat frequency oscillator, or BFO. Remember those? in the old shortwave radios. Well, I've uh, gone into a little bit of sidetracking here, but the basic principle of slope detection is that you take advantage of the variable gain along one or the other of the slopes of the bandpass response curve of an AM receiver in order to detect or demodulate an FM or phase modulation signal, frequency or phase modulated signal. So with that, I will sign off. Once again, here is the title of the book. Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Go to my website, science, sciencewriter.net. 
Go up to the top, the Amazon, books available at Amazon, link. You will find this and other treasures from yours truly, Stan Gibalisco, signing off from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Until next time, have a good one.